Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm breaking in. So I got Novak's racket encased here. Um, and I want to take it out. So I'm going to do it. Hang on. guys I've broken in let's take a look Ooh, it's kind of stuck there it is so this is Novak's racket from the 2016 Australian Open finals match used racket so you see he, he signed it um, see the racket says Novak right there so head custom made this for him you can see all the lead he even added to the sides here his own signature dampener and then there's a thing that's called sun s-u-n 27.5 so I'm not sure what sun means. Maybe somebody out there knows. Um, it's 27.5 inches is my guess. I'm gonna measure that in a minute. Uh, let's take a look at the strings. So this is Babolat VS 17 gauge gut, natural gut on the mains. And it's Luxalon ALU power 16 light on the crosses. So, wow, that's cool. I'm just amazed that I'm touching it. It's actually, it's glossy here and it's very smooth. All right, let's measure out the length. That's weird. It's a little less than 27. Is that right? Let's remeasure this. So it's not quite 27 inches. It looks like it's about 26 and three quarters, maybe a little bit above that but it's definitely not 27 inches that's surprising to me so my guess is that sun 27.5 probably means 27.5 kilos in the strings and sun means uh, might be the person who strung it that's my guess um, let's check his grip It's nice and tight. Looks like four and five eighths. Yep, four and five eighths. What does it say here? It says four and three eighths here. I feel the graphene in here. You could probably see the graphene in there. And it is a Head Speed Pro. Wow, 
look, look at this. Look at, look at this interesting thing. So he scraped up this side here, right? As well as this top part here from getting low, uh, maybe on a slice. The other side is clean. And so is this top part. So he holds it one way. I want to measure like how much lead is in here and check out where it's placed. So looks like on a clock on this side, at least it's going to be about seven o'clock to that would be about 10, 10 o'clock. So how much is that in inches? So let's see, right about there. Coming around. Eight inches of lead per side. I'm holding it down as well as I could, but it's about eight inches of lead per side. So I'm going to the lead weight. Um, so it says half a gram or 0.5 grams per inch, right? So now we have eight inches per side times two. So that's 16 inches times 0.5. So that's eight full grams of lead that's been added to this racket. Now what that gives you, and I, I add lead to my racket, I'm sure most of you do too, um, is when you add it towards the middle to the lower part, it gives you a little more control through the forehand shot to, in order to lift it when you need to. Um, when I've added it to let's say the top part, all around the top, it is much harder at impact because all that weight's gonna to wanna to push right through that ball to lift it up. So it's harder to do that when it's at the top. When it's set up like this, you could, the way he's able to hit the ball and, and flip that wrist at the end um, is attributed to where the lead is placed at the scale. Three hundred fifty eight grams. So I'm a little surprised that it's not heavier. I mean, you can feel that it's way heavy in this head. So uh, let's let's compare. So I got that a stock fed racket from this belongs to a customer, um, a stock one. Let's see. So the stock fed racket weighs more at 363.5. Let's see what the swing weight is. Reset. Three seventy, three hundred seventy. That's the highest swing weight I have ever seen on a racket. Three hundred seventy. That is crazy. Let's get it back on. Get that stock. Three forty-seven. Same weight, but swing weight much lower. So, the highest swing weight I've ever seen on any racket, 
even higher than Andre Agassi's, as I did on another video. So all this lead that he added to the head helps him drive the ball through. So that's, I mean, that's crazy. I mean, you can definitely feel that, you know, in another video, I was saying it's a two by four. Well, this is a two by four with lead weights. So when this racket comes through, it, it's punishing the ball. So uh, he's got a nice smooth swing. So that makes it easy for him when he catches it right. Um, let's look at the string pattern. Is it really an 1820? It looks like it to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's an 18 mains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it is an 18 by 20 string pattern. So that's Novak's racket. It's a little surprising. Um, I'm not surprised that it's that head heavy. Um, I would think most pros would be this way. The thing that I'm surprised at it is that it's not longer. It's actually shorter uh, than 27 inches, which is a standard racket. Um, but yeah, that's Novak Djokovic's match used Australian Open Finals used racket from 2016. Thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.